Hello, welcome back to GP Nail Art. Jessica here. Uh, so today I am going to be using all MVP Nail Design acrylics um, powders. <laughs> uh, so a while back, uh, and I can't remember if I showed this in a haul or not, but I got a, a um, raw glitter mix grab bag. So this was one of the colors. It's called Summertime. And boy, does it look it because it's got like every bright neon color you could possibly imagine. And then I had also gotten the Elements of Harmony set. Uh, so she does have a lot of sets on her website where you get... Um, um, a variety of colors all with the same kind of um, look or consistency or um, you know what I mean <laughs> so I'm just showing you all of the colors that came in this set and there were uh, six total uh, so what I wanted to do was pair some of those colors with this summertime glitter mix. So I kind of wanted to stay away from pink because the glitter, the raw glitter summertime is very um, pink already. So I definitely wanted to do the purple and I couldn't decide initially between the orange and the yellow, but um, the orange looked a little on the pink side to me, so I decided to go with the yellow. So magic and honesty. So I'm going to go ahead and get everything set up. So I have my powders and my glitter mixes in the cupcake liners, um, just so that they're a little bit easier to access because they do come in those baggies. I am using my Virgo and Gem liquids, um, so those have been working out really well for me, um, especially applying them to, to my dominant hand because I am right-handed. So trying to apply liquids very carefully and not flooding your cuticles with, for me, with my left hand can be a little awkward and a little difficult. <laughs> so these have been working out well for me because they are slow drying. So you have a little bit more time to kind of apply the liquid to the nail before it's just completely dry before you can even dip into your powder. So it's been working out pretty well. But uh, as you can see, um, Gigi from MVP Nail Designs, she formulates her powders and dips and mixes to really be one coat coverage. I do end up doing two layers and that's more so just because I like that for the um, the thickness and kind of the durability of my nail um, and then I do cap and clear so it ends up being three layers um, total as well as I have the builder gel uh, underneath so I do end up having a good amount of uh, strength with just doing the two dips of the color and then one of clear but look at how gorgeous that is and, I'm, and the camera doesn't want to focus on it but my god it's like having gems all over my nail that's how pretty these colors are <laughs> and um, I, I, I don't know why but I wasn't expecting them to be quite so sparkly um, so I almost kind of wish that I only did the elements of harmony colors on all of my nails and maybe paired or did the summertime glitter mix uh, at a different time with um, like flat or cream colors that just brought out the prettiness of that mix. I think this because the other two, the purple and the yellow are so gorgeous and so sparkly it kind of takes away from the summertime glitter mix <laughs> and I didn't really uh, yet yeah, I mean I was already kind of into my Manny by the time I realized that so just uh 
<laughs> I think it still came out beautiful. I just, I think, um, the, the summertime, I meant for the, the summertime glitter mix to be kind of the star of the show. And I think, um, the other two colors are kind of stealing the moment, <laughs> you know? But, um, you know, it, it is what it is. It still came out beautiful, and I'm not disappointed with it at all. So, uh, I, in regards to applying these, because these are a little bit of um, chunkier mixes, and normally with the chunkier glitters, I will pour over, um, but because these came in baggies, I didn't want to kind of fuss around with the baggie. Um, but also because um, she kind of formulates these to be very... Um, very opaque so they're not very uh, transparent you can get away with just one layer uh, I felt that kind of uh, I didn't dip in like normally when you dip into a, a powder uh, a jar of powder you're kind of going at a 45 degree angle um, so I'm more or less in the cupcake liner trying to lay my finger the surface of my nail kind of flat um, into that into those glitters um, so that way you get a little bit more with the chunkier um, kinds of uh, mixes you get still a more flat um, layer but also um, more of a full coverage uh, layer so if you're not doing uh, more than one or two layers you can kind of get away with um, not having to do more than that because uh, some of the chunkier glitters, I, I remember one that I did, and this was prior to doing anything on YouTube. It was kind of my first um, go with chunky glitters, and I dipped in three times and then did clear. And let me tell you that it looked like I placed a glob of gum on my nail or something. It was just so thick and chunky and bumpy it was horrible <laughs> and it was horrible to try to file it too because you just you end up filing up all of those glitter pieces it's just a mess <laughs> so the the less layers you can get away with the better in my opinion for um the glitter mixes so it just depends on how you are applying them like i said either pouring over uh works better in most cases or laying your finger uh, flat in if you're going to do less than three layers. But uh, I'm really loving how these came out. Uh, let me know if you've tried MVP nail designs and if you haven't, what are you waiting for? <laughs> They're gorgeous. And she comes out with new sets, um, new collections all the time. So there's always something new on her website and her website will be linked in the description box below for you as well. So I'm going to go ahead and let you watch the rest of the application. I did speed this up just a tad uh, because it is, um, a, you know, a little bit uh, repetitive, but um, just wanted to get you a, get give you a feel for how I was applying these since it's not my typical pour over method.
All right, so I have cleaned up my table a bit and I'm just going to cap everything in clear. Um, so again, this clear acrylic powder tends to be a little bit more um, durable or, yeah, I guess durable is a good word, um, than the pigmented uh, colors. So if you're looking for something to give your nail a little bit more strength, the clear is a good uh, go-to, but also anytime, actually for any of my colors, even the cream colors or flat colors, non-glitters and shimmers, I'll cap those in clear uh, as well just because um, you don't want to file through too much of your uh, color or get uh, like file burn marks or uh, you know things like that so the clear can kind of help eliminate uh, some of that as well but uh, still just doing my normal dip uh, application and I am using my um, designated glare cl glare <laughs> oh my god <laughs> clear acrylic uh, powder <laughs> And then I do also always like to use my stiffer scrubby uh, brush to really kind of clean up all of that um, clear powder like residue off of my nails before I go in with the activator and that can kind of help if you find that the clear powder is making your glitters a little bit cloudy or if you're getting like white specks in them that can help um, stop some of that if you find that that's a problem. Uh, so I'm just going in with my activator and I am speeding this up. I did not include uh, filing in this video, but I didn't have any kind of problem with, uh, with any of that at all. And generally, I will let the activator set for about two minutes or so before I go in with um, my filing and shaping uh, routine. Okay, so we are all shaped and filed. I'm gonna go in with my second layer of the activator. Uh, so that will help make sure that the top coat it gets real nice and shiny. And generally, when uh, on my first go around with the activator, before I do any of the filing, I'll kind of um, make sure I have a really thorough application of the activator at that point, um, just because I want to make sure the activator gets all the way through down to that first layer of uh, dip powder. I'm just showing this. I was a little bit surprised by that color. Um, in the baggie, it's much more yellow, but it looks a little bit more on the orange side after it's been applied. So, <laughs> sometimes that happens. Um, 
I, I know I've, I've had colors before where they look very purple in the powder form and then I apply them and they're like bright red. <laughs> it's weird how that happens sometimes, but I'm just going to go ahead and go in with my uh, top coat. So again, I'm using the Virgo and Gem and uh, this is also a little bit on the slower drying side, but I'm just doing my three swipes of the uh, top coat across the whole nail, uh, which is what you want to do on the first uh, layer of your top coat. Don't do more than the three swipes. Don't keep going over it and over it and make sure that you wipe your brush before you go back into the jar. Um, and I, and I know I've, I've been kind of, um, explaining this a lot in, uh, a lot of my videos lately. I think just for the dip powder application, it's really um, kind of important because if you don't um, apply it the way that um, they kind of describe in the steps when they send you out the instructions uh, from the companies and everything, your top coat can end up looking on the dull side and, and nobody wants that. And also, um, we have a lot of new subscribers on, um, that have joined us, uh, as well. So, um, my subscriber list keeps growing. So I appreciate everybody that has, um, joined and all of, um, the new subscribers. Welcome. Uh, again, my name is Jessica. Um, I know I, I put this in the description box, but I don't, I mean, if you're anything like me, I don't always read everything that's in the description boxes when I'm watching other people's uh, videos, but uh, I'm not a licensed nail tech. I'm a DIYer. Um, I've, I've been doing the um, dip powder um, system for maybe about a year or so now, and I just kind of fell in love with it. I love doing the nail art. Um, I love being able to do whatever it is that I want to do on my nails versus paying an arm and a leg and a foot and a finger when you go to a salon because <laughs> that can really get expensive. Uh, so it's also been a huge creative outlet um, for me. Um, I, I like doing creative things. I'm not always very good at doing, uh, you know, <sighs> different kinds of art things. It depends on what it is. I love doing different kinds of crafts and things like that, but this has just been a huge creative, um, outlet for me. So I really, really love, uh, doing this for my nails and, um, you know, love that you all want to join and watch and comment and interact. Uh, so it's been, it's been a lot of fun. And initially, I also had gotten my mom and my sister into doing the dip powder uh, as well. So this was kind of a way for for us to kind of also communicate and kind of show like what I've learned to them uh, as well. But uh, top coat came out nice and shiny as you can see. So I'm just going in with my Candy Skin Cure Cuticle Oil as usual. Uh, so you always want to kind of re-nourish your skin, um, re-moisturize your skin after kind of drying, everything gets a little bit dried out with um, like alcohol and the activator and so on. But let me know what you think of this Manny. Like I said, I think the two Elements of Harmony colors kind of stole the show. <laughs> I love the summertime glitter mix, but I, I think it just, um, the other two colors are so sparkly, so shiny looking. They, I mean, it looks like a million little gems. So I hopefully, hopefully you can see it a little bit better, a little bit better. And in the pictures at the end, cause they're just so gorgeous. But let me know what you think of this Manny. Uh, thank you to all of those that have subscribed. If you're not subscribed, please consider if you like what you see. Comment down below. And until next time, bye for now.